Hello everyone and welcome to Gaming FDL. My name is Josh and today we are looking at Frog Sword. S O R D Sword. Look at that cute frog with his sleeping bubble. He's so awesome. Obviously the main character is an anthropomorphized frog, so I mean that's that's definitely something that's really awesome. It's a platforming game in alpha that you can currently download for free. What's great about it? Well, it does a lot of the things that you would expect from a platformer like wall jumps, uh, jumping over spikes and avoiding evil bats, but it also adds in its own dash mechanic which it then evolves through the level design in really interesting ways. That's the sword and this is the frog. That makes a lot of sense. There are also spikes, let me show you the spikes. You explode into blood. Ew, gross. On the control side of thing, you can use either a gamepad or the keyboard. If you use the keyboard, it's arrow keys, Z and X. And for the gamepad, it's A, X and the analog stick. You have all sorts of variety of jumps. So there's normal jump, jumping up. And then when you jump in midair, you do a dash, which is really cool. And you bash into the side of things. After you've grabbed onto the walls, you can do wall jumps and then you can attack with your sword. Look, here's the first secret. Let's get that star. Nothing really pops up for it, but it feels good because you, you did a, an extra thing before completing the level and you f you're happy about that. Let's see if we can get across here. No, we can't. They're too, they're too wide. Okay. No, kill the bat. No! Everything that you fuck up in this game is definitely your own fault, though. That's, that's one thing that can be said for it. You know that it was your fault that you buggered it up. Uh, there we go. I got a star. Hooray! I prefer the keyboard over the gamepad because occasionally you need to dash diagonally and getting that sweet spot where the analog stick actually faces in the right direction so you don't either go up or right when you're going to trying to go up and right. It's a lot easier to just press up and right on the keyboard arrows and you just go in that direction. It's a lot simpler. Maybe that could be uh, adapted with maybe a bigger zone for the diagonal compared to the up and down. I don't know, but it's certainly easier on the keyboard for me. Awesome. Who's this guy? He's got a lightsaber. Not good enough for a frog with a sword, though. Sucks to be him. Uh, ah, slash. Whew. What's great about this game is the fact that it uses its mechanics in very simple ways and then iterates on them through the level design. To start off, it basically teaches you how they all work, the wall jumps, the jumping, the dashes and the attacks, and then they combine later on in a really interesting way. Okay, now this is the level where combining the dash and, and the, the slash becomes essential, just so you can get that second dash. The game is more about precision and how satisfying it is when you get the jumps right than attacking stuff, but when you do, you can dash, attack a thing, and that refreshes your dash so you get another one, and if there are a line of enemies around the level, you can dash from one to the other to get over spikes and obstacles really quickly, and when you get it right, it feels so good. It's very difficult, but at the end of the level you're like, yeah, I beat it. This one is another difficult one. It's challenging though, not like the other one, which... Oh no, just so... Oh, that's so close! Oh, hang on. Can you just miss that first bat entirely? Yes, you can! Yay! That's how you cheese it. Now there's kind of a sad end to this one. Unfortunately the developers had an argument over the intellectual property, which means that they can't continue development in fear of a lawsuit. This is why the alpha has been released to everyone. People have been very excited about it, lots of publications have written about it, but unfortunately this game isn't going to be made into a full release. What will happen though is that some of the developers have started a new team. This means that they'll carry the mechanics and the spirit of the game over to a new IP so that people can play the finished vision of what it would be. Anyway, if you want to check out this game, there will be a link in the description to where you can download it. And if you have enjoyed my video, please do consider leaving a like as it helps me out a ton. Same goes for sharing on social networks. And if you have anything to say about the game, please do leave it in the comments. If you want to see more of this kind of video, then please do subscribe. And every week I will bring you more indie games to discover. As ever, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye. I really shouldn't have a t-shirt the same colour as my wall.